The Harpoon anti-ship missile is probably the most common weapon of its type in the West. Since it entered production with McDonnell Douglas, now part of Boeing, in 1975, over 7,000 have been produced, equipping hundreds of ships around the world at the relatively cheap price of around $1.5 million. This weapon system is versatile, capable of also being launched from aircraft, trucks, and submarines. A little known fact about this missile is that it was originally developed as a weapon against submarines. With its sea skimming capability, it was originally intended to destroy diesel boats recharging their batteries on the surface. The very project name was the reference to that mission, as submarines are commonly nicknamed whales in the Navy, and harpoon is used as a verb to describe the act of sinking one. The harpoon is a subsonic high explosive over the horizon sea skimming anti-ship missile. It tracks its quarry using active radar and detonates on contact. This missile is fitted with a heavy 221 kilogram penetration blast warhead. Propulsion comes from a Teledyne CAE J402-400 turbojet delivering 300 kilograms of thrust, allowing the Harpoon to cruise at about 617 kilometers per hour. The Harpoon has gone through several developmental stages known as blocks. The initial model is known as Block 1. When it nears its target, Block 1 harpoons increase altitude before suddenly diving on their target. Block 1B removed this feature, while Block 1C made it optional. Block 1D, a model of limited production, had an increased range and reattack ability, i.e., the ability to attack again if it missed the first time. Block 1G is an improved version of the SLAM ER under development with reattack and image comparison ability. Block 1J is a proposed upgrade to make the harpoon able to fire at land and sea targets, eliminating the need for both the SLAM and standard harpoon.